Staten. Got a call from one of my partners over in uh, Kendall, Louisiana, near Lake Charles. He said it's a complete disaster over there, so I'm rolling out there. Got a little bit of donation from a few people. Came on through to the Wall Measy and then spent what I could and, and tried to get what I could, man, try to help people out. So I'm about to take that ride on over to Lake Charles and uh, then report back to y'all with what's going down over there. They need y'all help. Ain't no joke. They need it. Riding, baby. Got a little two and a half hour ride. Get over to the LC. And then you'll see my boy over in uh, Kinder. That boy, Breon Robinson. Airframes, VMA 513. We brotherhood, you know what I'm saying? We do for each other. My man out there dealing with some difficulties and, and, and seeing the suffering that's going on out there. No, sir. Devil dogs go out there and fight for each other, man. I'm going to go fight for my brother. See you out there, bro. get the power restored you got to get the trees cut and uh, and moved out of the way and you got to get the roofs fixed in order to uh, be able to fix the interior of the houses and it seems that you know FEMA is sending contractors out here so I think my next step is to continue my uh, process with getting signed up with FEMA so but in any case I'm gonna show y'all more of what's going on and we're gonna drop these supplies off where they're much needed. About to go ahead to my boy Breon. Be there in a minute, man. start seeing damage i can start seeing trees that was snapped i start seeing holes in the uh, uh billboards some of the signs and stuff that had come down and it was just getting progressively worse as i got through beaumont and then vider and then orange um, and by the time i got to orange it was just regular damage all over the trees was leaning all over the place broke snap road signs was laying on the ground ripped out twisted metal just bent like 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 a tornado came through and it it's a, it, it has signs of the winds being stronger than any winds i had ever seen anywhere else because of the the, the uh, uh, amount of trees that were that were broken at the tops or that were uprooted and falling over um and it just got progressively worse until i got into lake charles and every building had a blue tarp on it half of the buildings had the roofs ripped off another you know quarter of the properties had a tree laying in the house and then there's probably like 10 percent that just don't got a roof at all the roof just came off just peeled right on up i got some of that stuff i'll show you in the video so i just want y'all to understand how severe this was and it was shocking to me because me being in houston just two and a half hours away there's no media saying that our people need help in new orleans or not no i'm sorry 
There's no, there's nothing saying that our people need help over here in Lake Charles and in the surrounding areas. Nothing. So all we get are reports saying that the power is being restored, but there's nobody discussing the people that are dislocated, the people that are now homeless, the people that are sleeping in parking lots, the crews that don't have anywhere to stay because of the hotel damage. Um, the, every hotel, just about every one of them, has tarps on it and crews working on it right, right, right now. In my town, the, the roofs on the hotels. The, the, the couple hotels that I passed right up the street from here, uh, roofs is gone, roofs is off. And I'm, I'm, I'm just shocked as to what's going on. For me, it reminds me of Hurricane Ike. And so if y'all in Houston, remember Hurricane Ike, you know how severe that was. These people got hit with that. And I think that it's possibly even worse than what Ike was. Uh, they may call it a category four or, you know, four. three or whatever, but it was, a four. It was every bit it was of, of, a of, of what bit would have been a five, 10 years ago. Basically. Yeah. So miles somehow away. these categories, yeah. instead of adding numbers, because they should yeah. have some sixes and sevens out there from yes. what I've seen, yes. but they still call them fives, but at 150, 150 miles per hour. I, I mean, that's um, unheard of. Um, that's unheard of. That's like winds on freaking it's a tornado the size Saturn of Saturn or Jupiter or something over there man this space the tornado a giant the size tornado of a, of a state yeah giant tornado man this is insane insane and look at my man house the roof came off of this one this one had a metal roof on it you can tell because it still got the uh the edge cap drip edge whatever you want to call that that's on there right there that tell you that that roof that part matches that right there so came all the way off and fortunately they had a whole nother roof underneath it so they they can just get that fixed if necessary but that and came just sitting over here missed his missed his house barely could have tore his house up completely golly man this is incredible yeah it hit it Man, you know, people sitting in their house with nothing. Yeah, you're telling me people sitting there, just roof open, windows no gone. Just they ain't got no food because there ain't no power, ain't no stores for food, ain't no groceries in this whole zone, the whole southwest Louisiana. So your job is intact. All no, that stuff. I'm going to get one of these jobs and go help. You unemployed right now? Mm -hmm. Because of this stuff? No. Just going through some stuff right now? Uh, the jobs is already kind of crazy because the COVID and stuff. Yep. And I got laid off myself. So, so I lay off actually, before I went to Nevada. I mean, I, I first time I found, ever, have been off because I've been a traveling worker. Yo, know, I kind of just took this time to finally be get some family time. Yeah. You know, yep. That's uh, how I ended claim in the the Take unemployment that, time. that I put up. That, you know, by me working. Since I, found, I just went ahead and claimed the unemployment that I had put up yep. and spent some time with my kids and shit finally, you know. But now it's time to go back and get it. Say, if you get with sick up or whatever, I'll. If you uh, end up running my crew, bro, that's, that's what I hope for. That's what I hope to put in place. And I would need you to manage my crew, bro. So that's what I hope to have in place. So I'm working on getting this okay. FEMA documentation done, getting yes. this federal government stuff. I can go set up as a FEMA contract. I get set up, I bid some jobs, I get something, I'm coming to see you, okay. and then we're going to go do it. I already know how you work. I already know that's not a problem <laughs> at all. Because once you know what's going on, what's yeah. happening, you got it. Yeah. So what? I got to look into the legal requirements for having a contracting mm -hmm. business here. Yeah. But if it does jump off, you got a business you end up running. For me, straight up, because I put, put my my brother right there in <laughs> the place I, and have full faith and trust in what I, it is that he's doing. I appreciate. If we can get an opportunity to make something happen and improve our lives from this, bro. That's what we're gonna do. So, I definitely appreciate you for the invite down here, man. And I'm definitely, you know, I know we got 20 years of catching up to do. Oh yeah. But we right down. We're right the street, down the street, man. man. <laughs> it ain't no bad yeah. drive. It's, it's not. It's it not. No and, bad and, drive. And, and I, I'm gonna come down here, get this work popping. And if you come to Houston, you mm -hmm. better not be staying nowhere else. Oh, well, for sure. Other than at the, the Grant Residence Inn, brother. Yeah, I got right. plenty of space for you. It's comfortable. Come on down. Maybe we go fishing. Hell you know yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell so, yeah. You know, 
don't, don't be a stranger. Got fishing poles on the wall. Hey, again. I'm just getting my collection going, dog. I'm oh, just a, yeah. got, got some good crappie out there, bro. Come on. I, I filleted that bad boy, and it was delicious, yeah. bro. And now, I caught last one I caught was bass. I ain't even feeling that. Too many little bones in it. That yeah. crappie, you fillet that, mm -hmm. ain't no bones in that, baby. Yeah. So, man, I'm learning that. I just learned how to fillet the fish and everything. So, come on, man. Come on down, man. I promise you, good time, bro. Good times. I do this same thing you're doing right here. Hell yeah, yeah. I end up in the back, right? Literally, I got my little table set up in the back. I'm doing the same thing you're doing, bro. Got my little table set up in the back, <laughs> and most of them right out the door right there, <laughs> and sitting right out there, and I got something burning right See there. See my in the little middle. outdoor kitchen right there. Yep. Boy. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. So, man, let's 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 forget about this stuff if you get oh, a yeah. chance, man, and then come out and see your brother out there, and uh, I'm gonna come out here and see you. But it's gonna be other than business, man. We gotta get. Get our connection back. 20 years too long, bro. Hell, you're 20 years is too long to be this close. <laughs>